Hey guys, Cameron here, and uh, this is just a wee updated video on uh, a video I posted actually several months ago. Camera DSLR straps better than the Black Rapid, and uh, I hadn't even paid any attention to the video once I stuck it up. I just left it, and uh, I'm overwhelmed of almost fourteen thousand views on that video alone, and loads of you guys have been posting questions and comments. Uh, so I'll answer some of them just now. Uh, so Adrian O says, check out the Joby Ultra. Uh, so I don't know if that's the tripod of Joby Mick uh, straps. Thanks very much for your support. Hope, Brody, I hope uh, you like the tutorials. Okay, there was somebody that said, uh, let me have a wee look here. Somebody said they attached a wrist lanyard to the strap, which I mean you can do that as well, that's fine. Uh, so somebody said, you think the Caden would hold a 5D Mark II plus a 70 200F4 combo? I wish you could put the brand names, I will put the brand names up. One was the Quick Strap, and the other one was called the Caden Strap. Uh, I'll put both of them up there for you, uh, Sean, and you can have a wee look at them. Now, uh, this is what uh, LGC Cooper One posted saying you've got three thousand dollars worth of camera gear. Uh, why am I being cheap? Adding it on to a cheap camera strap. Okay, this is where everybody seems to get confused. Everybody gets a camera strap with their camera. We all know that. When it comes to third-party straps like Black Rapid, Quick Strap, Caden and all the other straps out there. Believe it or not, they are third party. Black Rapid is not endorsed by Canon or Nikon or Sony, it's a third party strap. Now when you check any of the websites for Caden, third party straps, Black Rapid, none of them will say that it will hold yours a certain amount on your camera. They will also uh, if say you're walking down the street and your strap breaks or a part falls off, your camera smashes, they are not liable for that. Uh, they will not turn and say, oh, we'll give you a brand new camera. They, they might replace the strap or the part that broke, but they are not liable for any damages. And this is something that people need to realise, is compared to the Caden, the Black Rapid, the only difference, the only difference at all between the Caden, the Black Rapid, the Quick Strap, and all the other third party straps out there really is the build quality for one and two, the price. And for what I've bought from Quick Strap, I've actually got two Quick Straps now. Uh, basically, I've got a neoprene one which is exactly like the Caden, uh, and it's got the Bradley strap that goes under the arm. Uh, you're talking now, build quality is so, so good. Uh, I've never looked at a black rapid strap, I've never held one, and I wouldn't use one. Uh, would I use a 5D Mark II on it? Well, at the end of the day, the only way I would use my 5D Mark II and a 7200 lens on any third party strap would be I'd make sure that I had insurance. So if anything did happen, I'd be covered because at the end of the day, these straps do not cover you and they don't have a certain weight threshold that if you exceed it, I mean, the, the strap might give way. So that's something to check out. So it doesn't matter. Even with a manufacturer's strap, do you know what I mean? If, like, if uh, you had the 5D Mark II and the 70 to 200 F4, if you had that on your... A Canon or Nikon strap that came with the camera, there's no guarantees that that strap will be able to hold that weight. If that strap breaks halfway through, then I mean, it's, you're not like If it's within the warranty, then you'll get it fixed. If it's out with the warranty, then you know what? The Canon or Nikon are going to turn and say, oh, strap broke, here's a new strap or here's a new camera. That happens. So if you're worried about your gear breaking, Get insurance.
that will cover you when you're out and about. That way you can use any strap you want. And I've been using the, the Caden and the Quick Strap now for two years. Uh, I've got a Canon 600D. I've been using it with that with a battery grip on it. And I've also attached, uh, I think the biggest lens I've attached to it is the 100 to 300 uh, Canon lens, which isn't as heavy as the F4, but it's still a good weight and the strap handles it no problem. Uh, uh, so thanks very much, guys, for your feedback. Uh, I'll put all the details of the straps in the, the information there.